My advert had been all but rejected. The oil industry wouldn't talk to me, and a request to Shell to speak to their CEO, Ben Van Burden, was being ignored. Basically, I was nowhere. Ah, yeah. We're in a place called South London, I think it's pronounced. I'm off to meet, um, let's call him a naughty boy. It's an artist called Darren Cullen, and I'm hoping that he can provide a bit of inspiration, because I'm in dire need. Could you put the camera inside and then I'll walk in and we'll cut and it'll be really, really seamless? Oh, what are you doing here? I think that worked really well. Hello? Are you Darren? I am. Hi, Darren. Nice to meet you. I'm Hello. Joe. How are you getting on? I'm great. Nice this you. is amazing. <laughs> Darren Cullen is a satirical artist from Leeds. He uses advertising techniques to expose what he sees as the empty soullessness of consumerism. His recent work has specifically taken aim at Shell. What I'm currently working on is trying to um, annoy them a little bit more. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, so I've bought this bus and I'm going to fill it with anti-shell greenwashing, kind of anti-PR. Wow. When you walk into the bus, this will be like Shell admits global warming is a serious existential threat, but then juxtaposing the severity of it with the flimsy greenwashing ideas that they actually have. I get a step-powered football pitch, gravity-powered lamp, actual things that they have proposed. It's their sort of way of saying, oh, we know what this problem is and we've got it under control, you don't need to worry about mm. it. They can pretend that they're part of the solution, which is their big thing. I'm gonna turn this into kind of greenwashing museum on wheels. My exhibition will be an exaggerated version of their greenwashing. I did not know that the water they use in fracking becomes completely toxic. That wasn't something that I was aware of before, and that was explained to me by a piece of art. This is the basics of what the inside will look like. Oh, there's Ben. Benny B. Managed to find this photograph of him. I feel like you've caught him at a urinal there. <laughs> the world is his urinal. <laughs> this is a generous representation of Shell's investment in renewables. And then this uh, cake of hydrocarbons and death is the rest of the business. I'm quite a visual person to have that visual representation of what their business model is. It's really stark and really shows you exactly what they're up to. You sort of feel that their marketing approach is to just basically kind of do that. Don't look at the, cake, the rest of the cake. Look at that. I think Darren might be a bit of a genius. He's got a real eye for making a point in a funny, sarcastic way. I feel totally inspired. I feel like it's given me the jolt that I need to get this advert done, however we're going to do it, and then to get it out into the world, perhaps by going back to Shell HQ. I've got some thoughts. What are those thoughts? That we go back to Shell HQ. Okay. With, the, with Darren's bus. Today's the big day. All of human history has been building to this day. <laughs> Today is the big premiere of my new advert for Shell. The advertising police got all pissy about putting my facts only ad on TV, but Mummy's going to have the last laugh. I'll give it a shove. Oh, beautiful. Because I'm going to show you my far naughtier, far denigratier advert for Shell right now in this programme. We're off! This is the biggest company I've ever taken on. They're not going to like this, would be my guess. And I've got the perfect venue for the screening. Right outside Shell HQ. And so the stage was set for the glamorous premiere of my advert for Shell. Held in a keep clear bay with some dancers and some paint, This is the advert they didn't want the world to see. Hi up there! For the first time on British TV, in all its uncouth, resplendent and revolting glory. Enjoy, Poppets! Hi, I'm Shell CEO Ben.